everyone, I'm Gabrielle Crow and welcome to my channel. I'm a residential real estate agent with TTR Sotheby's in the Washington DC metro area. And today I wanna to address for some of you who might be wondering if you priced your house high enough. <laughs> This is a question that comes up either through my own personal clients or friends and colleagues. Sellers are always wondering if they're pricing it too high or pricing their home too low. So today I really wanna to talk to you about the concept of whether you priced your house high enough even if it's sold in the first day on market. Oftentimes it can be super exciting and relieving if your house sells day one, you're under contract, you have a full price offer, it's so exciting. But it can also leave you as a seller later wondering, why did I get an offer so quickly? Did I price it high enough? It's totally normal to wonder if you might've priced too low if it's sold too quickly. While it's certainly a moment of uncertainty for the seller, it's also a moment of uncertainty for the buyer as well. If you as the seller accepted their offer day one, a buyer is likely thinking whether they might have paid or offered too much. Maybe you didn't have other offers you were working with and buyer might be thinking, I could have offered less. So a buyer might conclude if the home sells too quickly that they might have paid too much and the seller might also feel that they might not have listed high enough. So both sides are really dealing with the stress of a quick sale. Really important in these situations, whether you're on the buyer side or the seller side, that you look at the real estate market that you're in. If you're in a seller's market, like I am in Washington, DC, it's very, very common to see homes sell quickly. In a seller's market, there just isn't enough inventory to feed the number of buyers in the market. And that's where you see homes selling quickly with bidding wars and escalation clauses. So it's important to know that in the seller's market, in a hot real estate market, homes are going to oftentimes, if they're priced right in line with comparable sales, they will sell quickly. A home that's overpriced or might not show as well may not even sell at all. In a buyer's market, there are many more homes for sale than the actual actual number of buyers looking. So unless your home has a wow factor that sets it completely apart from everything else, it could be valid and a little bit odd if your house sells the very first day on market. It's possible that it could be priced under market value if you receive an offer on day one. In that case, it might make sense for you as the seller to wait a few days and see if you get any other offers before making your decision with the offer you just received. And if there aren't any other offers that come, the market's telling you that your home was priced right. To be honest, sometimes a home that sells in the first day can honestly just be a fluke. Crazier things have happened. A seller can put their home on the market the very same day that a buyer is looking for that exact place. It definitely happens. Don't rule out a coincidence. And on top of all of this, like you might've heard before, the first offer is oftentimes the best offer. And those are the people who are really, really wanting your house. So it's important not to have the misconception that the first offer is always the lowest offer because you might actually be missing out on your best offer. If you're a seller and you're wondering whether you priced your house high enough for sale, it's also important to know that your real estate agent didn't just put a sign in your front yard. There are lengthy preparations that go on in the background before your home hits the market. Photography, sometimes staging, preparing landscaping, moving furniture in and out, videography, inputting information into the MLS. So many things happen in advance of preparing your sale for market. So it's just important to know that your agent didn't just stick a sign on your front yard. They actually spent time researching and analyzing the market to come up with the best price and strategy for selling your home. Your agent spends a lot of time, weeks, sometimes months preparing your home for sale. So sometimes if you receive an offer the first day, it can likely be due to all of the efforts that occurred leading up to that day on market day. It's also important to consider the appraised value of your house. Your sales price is likely going to need to be appraised by a bank for the future buyer. It's a bit of added insurance for the buyer to make sure that they're not aggressively overpaying for your home. To give you some peace of mind, it's really important upfront as a seller and a buyer to see comparables and be very clear on the market value because that ultimately is going to prevent appraisal issues down the line. Picture yourself five to 10 years down the line. Whether you're a seller or a buyer, it's not gonna be on your mind whether you save a couple thousand dollars on your house or made an extra you know, several thousand dollars on your home. That could 
all very well be possible. What's gonna matter most to you is that you were able to move on to that next phase of your life, whether you're buying and moving into the house and you're super happy there, or whether you're a seller moving into that next chapter of life, selling your home and moving elsewhere. And lastly, I'll leave you with this, timeline is everything. So if you explain to your real estate agent that you need to be out in two weeks, that ultimately is going to dictate price. Your timeline as a seller will dictate how you price your home. The reason being is that sure, you could price super high and test the market, but that might mean that you're stuck in your house for three to six months and you aren't able to buy your next home. So it's important to factor that in. If your home sold in the first day and you're wondering whether you priced high enough, talk with your real estate agent, understand again why you both work together to decide on that price because Ultimately, pricing slightly below the market value may have been the strategy to get you to your next destination on time. That's all I've got. Thank you so much for your time. Tune in next week. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below, and I look forward to seeing you.